All right, so the Queen of Sheba Ethiopian restaurant is a unique journey to a world of exotic cuisine, and they are one of the restaurants featured in the Art Legacy Celebration of Dr. Martin Luther King, which we mentioned earlier. We have owner Sebley Gaza joins us uh, with one of her vegetarian dishes. Chris is also joining us this morning. Good morning, I'm learning so much. Good morning. And this is the point, obviously, I'd imagine this is why you wanted to be a part of this event as well, right? We were just talking about how important it is to share each other's story. Right, and this is a beautiful story, unique culture, unique food that will be healthy for the new year and just create a flavorful, uh, I don't even know what to say, my mouth is just watering <laughs> thinking about well, All and my first question, and you were very honest with me, I said, what is this food, what is Ethiopian food similar to? And you said there's really, you can't really compare it to anything. It very, it has its own unique flavors. Explain what that is. So the unique flavors. So some of the flavors are common in the, this little dish over here. Okay. We have the common one. So you what see are the we actually making here this morning? So this is called Shiro Wat. Shiro what? Very good, you okay. did that well. So one of the key ingredients is actually the shiro powder. That's that lighter powder right there. Okay. Now, shiro powder, it's made from a chickpea paste. Okay. Right? So that's the main ingredient and then different Ethiopian spices are added to that. And now, you say these spices literally have to come from Ethiopia. It's not like they're yes. produced here. No. They, they are authentic to Ethiopia. They are authentic to Ethiopia and guess what? Organic. Okay. Which is what we're looking for nowadays as uh -huh. well as an healthy alternative for you coming into 2020. Okay, so you're just sauteing this all together, correct? Mm -hmm. So when you start at the base, as you can see, Subway has the, the, uh, the onions and we also have the uh, tomatoes going with uh -huh. the olive oil. So what's gonna happen next is we want it to get nice and brown. You're gonna start feeling the aromas and flavors sort of coming out through your nose. Then next what's gonna happen is the most amazing spice on the planet. Say it with me, berberet. Berberet? Mm -hmm. Now, berberet is a unique blend of spices from Ethiopia. The process of making it takes a good period of time. So just smell that and look at the beautiful, rich color that's coming yeah. through there. It's absolutely amazing. It's not too strong though, I will say, because when you see something that bright in color, you would think that it would be kind of, you know, pretty potent, but it's... It's flavorful. Mild, yeah. It's flavorful. And what we can do to make it spicier is use the, uh, we have those jalapenos which okay. make it a little bit spicy. And also if you put more berberet, so it's the amount of berberet okay. that you put in it that's kind of going to determine spice level in conjunction with, uh, you know, the jalapenos. Right, Sebla? Yes. Okay. And so you're stirring that up, and I know we have a finished dish here, and then I also want to, okay, so this is what... It, the finished dish. Yeah, the finished dish. Yes. I'm wanting to say like a stew or it's kind of a, a kind soup. Of like, it's, yeah, it's in that family. We, we typically make it a little bit thick because uh, as you were segueing yeah. into the most wonderful thing here, it's called injera. Injera. It, ah, you okay. did that very okay. well. Okay. So now in Jera, uh, you see the the little. Um, this is how it's. Yeah. Made for, this is step one right here. Yeah, that's step one. Well, that that's actually step two. So okay. step one oh, is the fermenting. The, you were saying. exactly yeah, okay. from the grain called. Mm, I forget. Taff. 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 That's right. That's okay. right. Okay. So and that's also very healthy, organic. Okay vegan, vegetarian, where everybody's going now, all nowadays, and the most important thing is it's also gluten-free. So you pour this onto the matash, the matash yes, right yes, here. Matash. 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 matash, yes. Right. Yeah, you can pour that one and make it flat. And then it cooks there. Mm -hmm. Cooks there, yes. And then it comes out looking like that. Yes. Voila. Yes. So then how do you, what do, you, do you pour this on there? Do you pull it apart and, like, what do you then? Great question. So here's how this works. This is your plate. Okay. This is your plate. It sops up all of the flavors of whatever dishes that we make. Ah. And you roll it up, and that's your, what you eat with. We eat with the injera as well. And you're okay. going to be able to sample that if you'd like all right. to have a nice Well, we're out of, of time. Real quickly, say where you're located. I know you just moved so uh, to Temple we, Terrace. We're in Temple Terrace. It's 1101 North 56th Street, right in the heart of okay. Temple Terrace, between White Way and Fowler is the next major intersection. Okay. Uh, Bank of America is right on the corner, and we're okay. in that same plaza. Well, and you right guys are going right to be now. at this event that we mentioned too. We'll make sure and put that info on our website. It's easy for people to come out and see you guys. Thank awesome. you so much for coming in. Thank Please you. Please come back, okay? All right, we'll <laughs> see you soon. Thank you.